Hello, it's one of my favorite days. I love tutorial days. I love showing you fun things to make with the authentic paper. And good morning, Donna. Good morning, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and recopy the cutting guide. Um, the cutting guide for this little box right here, it is up in the comments at the very top of the video. But um, I just want to copy and paste it real quick so that you also have it for your cutting guide. Very simple to make. That's what I love about this. And you can make a ton of them. One thing we do here, especially it's just been a tradition, is to boo our neighbors. Hi, Sally. And, you know, they're getting older and a lot of the kids have graduated. And so they've gone off to college this year and basic training, different places. But the parents are still there. So don't just think about your neighbors with children because um, we need to spread a lot of fun and sunshine around our neighborhoods everywhere. So this is fun. You can hang it on a two liter bottle of soda. And in the past, I have done boo kits. So I know I've posted them on Everything Authentic and also in Scrapbookers or Country Craft Creations where we do other tutorials using the Authentic Papers. But you can uh, get those, boo your neighbors, and what a fun porch gift to spread some happiness. Start. We usually start this around October 1st. So this will give you time to really get your, um, your treat boxes made. And a couple of things. This is, of course, just from my stash. And I've got a pre-made tag that I've already cut and we'll be putting that on and everything else is from the collection and well the sticker that was just one I had floating around and I grabbed it but fun little box and then you can put some minis in I have put some solid peanuts you can um, you know definitely use this for even if you want to do craft supplies for a crafty friend and you can put some score tape and cute little things in there so this is what we're going to make today and let me tell you the die um, I'm using for the bow is just an old die I have it was a cricket from the cuddle bug but you can also make the dies I mean the bows from your punch board I've shown that tutorial here on authentic many a times it's just in the video file just go back into the video file you have to find it it's about a year old so to make the tag whoops and that's what I posted I did use lightweight chipboard and let me give you a secret about this lightweight chipboard this is the lightweight chipboard that is on the back of the paper pads of masquerade so if you've purchased the paper pad either from your local scrapbook store um, they should have this in stock or from countrycraftcreations.com. We always have authentic in stock. Then this is off the back of the paper pad, not the collection kits, but the paper pads. Um, now, I met with Country Craft Creations. A lot of times we don't put the pads together so that, that you don't have to tear them apart. So, no, it won't be in there then. But um, some of the pads do. Or you can use regular chipboard. You just want to cut it down to four inches wide by eight inches, <clears throat> excuse me, eight inches long. And if you use regular chipboard, it's just going to be that much stronger. This takes very little paper, which is why I love it. You can make from two sheets of your pattern cardstock and the chipboard. And one sheet, you can get like three boxes and from one sheet of one and a half sheets of 12 by 12 black cardstock that we're going to use to make our box with. So let's get started. Hi, RJ. First thing you want is a four by eight piece of chipboard. If you don't have any chipboard, cut two pieces of your black cardstock four by eight, and you can glue those together. And that will be strong enough to hold your little box. Um, again, y'all, this is, you know what, this is also cute to decorate your house with. Make three of them, string them as banners, and then you can put little treats in them, or you can put little um, Halloween witches, scarecrows hanging out. Cute little banner. You can make these smaller if you want. These don't have to be as high, but I like it high for the decorations and to hang on the door. So, my four by eight, I've already cut my lightweight chipboard, and I've cut two sheets from Masquerade. Hi, Tricia, and I'm going to use the plaid this time. Last time, look at that awesome wood grain with the orange. Just love it. So, super simple. We're just going to glue these right onto the top of our chipboard. 
and I usually I like to get my tips working first. But oh, oh, there we go. I'm just using art glitter glue. This is going to be permanent. Then you can pack it away for next year if you're using it for decorations in your in your home. I have pegs on a shelf hanging from my dining room window that this would be cute to hang those from. But don't put chocolate in them. If the sun hits the window, it will melt. So we're just going to cover the front and back. Now, like I said, if you don't have chipboard and you're using just cardstock, make it two layers and you're going to glue it together. Then you'll glue your pattern paper on and it's going to make it strong enough. Or you can use regular weight chipboard that you use if you make mini albums. It'll just, um, it'll be even stronger. Hi, Judy. And then I am going to use my hole punch and my corner chomper. Now with the corner chomper, if you are using something heavier than lightweight cards, uh, lightweight chipboard, it may be hard to punch. Make sure there's not glue everywhere. And I'll need one of those. Now another... I also cut these. I was going to use them at first. This is some of the coordinating colors of Spectrum from Authentique that goes. So you can also use, hi Marie, you can also use the Spectrum coordinating cardstock. And if you're going to make a lot of these, I know our kids are back in school next week. So these will be fun for school. But I am going to, hi everybody, I am going to go ahead and ink these edges I'm going to actually do both sides so my cardstock is inked really well and it's going to blend in our our chipboard even if I use um, the cardstock I would still do this trim that just a little bit I see it's sticking out over the edge here. Sally, hi, see. Um, it, I don't know. It would depend on your neighbors. Um, one of the questions for Michelle was, do you think the neighbors will be offended by you putting something like that on their door this year? I like to make homemade goodies. You know what? Um, where I live, I live in a, area that used to be very 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 country growing up this is where all the cowboys came from here in Utah and uh, we're still pretty small even though we've got neighborhoods building but our neighbors I'm not even worried about that but I do always worry you know when it comes to homemade goodies anyway so I do um, I always just use packaged like the peanuts you can get more in here I've got little you can get actually quite a bit more in here, but see, I put the little uh, messy paper things in there. Um, so it just depends on your neighborhood, I would say, Michelle. And you know, you know your neighbors. And if you kind of wait and watch, and if your neighbors are giving out handmade goodies, but yeah, it can be really. It depends on the area. Some people may be like, mm -mm, no, I don't want anything out of anybody's kitchen. But around here. Um, we have neighbors that have cottage kitchens and they do a lot of baking and we buy from them and help the mom because their mom's staying home. Um, again, it depends on your neighborhood and it depends on your neighbors. But if you do this with prepackaged goodies, um, you can get prepackaged cookies, especially at Halloween time. They'll have the Oreos and things. Slide this over a two liter bottle of uh, soda and put on the door with a little boo note. How cute is that? Or hang it from their doorknob. Um, are you worried about the theme? No, I'm not worried about the theme. If you're worried about the theme and maybe your neighbors aren't Halloween, use fall. Um, maybe you don't want to boom to say happy fall, y'all. 
we're doing, you know, I'm, I'm doing a happy fall and I want to put this on your door. Um, yeah, I know some people do worry about it out here. Um, we're not worried. I love Halloween. Um, I think we worry about too much these days. Okay. Half inch at wine. Hey, Joan, my address is, <laughs> so Joan does wine for her neighbors. Okay. This is my corner rounder and it will go through the lightweight chipboard. It probably won't go through my heavy. I forgot to do that. Um, now Joan does wine. So if you want to give her your hat, I'm just kidding. Hey, that's really cute. And you know, exactly. I just put my heart feels. I, um, you know what? That's the whole thing. Make people happy. Um, most people are just thrilled to death to open their door after you. And my, it's funny because I've got my husband. I make him go ring the doorbell and run. He gets so mad at me. But when they open the door and there's a treat, you know, they're pretty happy. So I think it's really, it's just fun to spread this kind of happiness. And I'm determined that I'm going to, con well, there goes Wilbur. I'm going to continue everything. I'm not going to let my neighbors or kids miss out. And then once you give the gift, they can kind of do what they want with it. Okay. We need to make our box. And for my, I have to just tell you, if this doesn't make you happy to go back and look from childhood days, I mean, this is what I remember my Valentine, I mean, my, my Halloween decorations being as remember the little, um, Truly, things that we go around making noise, and it was back then to get rid of the evil spirits. And they had these cute decorations, just cute, fun things. That's what we need to be focusing on. And this paper just brings back those memories. So, the box six by eight. Oh, yes, red, white, and blue. Anything will be fun. Um, Authentique Spa will be out next week. Um, Christmas. Anything you want to just bring happiness to your friends and neighbors. That's what we need to spread. Just happiness. Okay. Um, it does Well, it doesn't matter what side you start on because we're going to do two short sides and one bottom. Um, we're going to score at one and two. And we want to turn. So we're on the six inch side and score at one and two. And one and two. Again, um, we still have, and I know the stores, your local scrapbook store might still have Scholastic. So make this for a teacher, even a teacher that's maybe doing the home teaching and fill it with some pencils and goodies for her. And we're going to go ahead and burnish these score lines. Hi, Diane. How are you? You want to burnish all um all sides before we do any cutting because we want to mat our box while it's flat you know what i like to do joan oh that's cute we have to put full disguises because ah that is fun okay well See these squares? I'm picking up all kinds of ink. Sorry. We're going to cut straight up. I have two pairs of scissors. One's not quite as sharp. Okay. Just cut straight up both of these lines. Um, you can leave that, but what I do is I cut off this bottom part. Just the bottom one inch because we don't we don't really need it. So I usually do it this way now, but I wanted to show you to cut straight up first. Okay. Now we want to mat everything. We want to mat 
these guys and I did map mine inside and out because it took such little paper and I just wanted it to look really nice everywhere. So we're going to mat the center inside and out. So I'm going to cut two pieces that are three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to mat this one using um, Masquerade 3. It's the witches, cats, uh, witch hats, cats, and brooms. So I'm going to cut two three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Hi, Ka oh, Kathy, that is so sweet. You have a lot of faith in me. <laughs> So inside and outside, now I'm going to do these outside pieces in the plaid and I used the plaid and stripe for this box and I want to bring in some of the orange. So what I'm going to do, this is my leftover piece from this. So you'll get two to three boxes out of three sheets of pattern paper and two sheets of um, black cardstock. So I'm just going to cut down the center at three and seven eighths. Because these are three and seven eighths, the same as the center. And we're going to cut two, four, six. We actually need 12. I think I put down 10. Let's go ahead and we're just going to cut. Ten first at seven eighths of an inch by three and seven eighths. So that's just seven eighths of an inch. So I cut 10, I don't trust my counting skills. I'll cut 10 for right this moment. And I do want to ink the edges of these. And I'm, I'm just using, you can use black. I'm just gonna stick with my acorn, that's what I used before. It's not real, uh, it's not really a brown, it's a brownish black. So it just gives it more of a, Kind of distressed. Love Halloween paper because you can be messy when inking your edges. And let's go ahead and ink all of the edges here. Love the plaid. And the fall I showed uh, last week, the sneak peek of Cultivate and Delicious. And those will be here next week. And so will the fall paper. And um, the fall paper from Authentic is always one of my favorites to use during Thanksgiving. I love to incorporate, the, incorporate that with the name tags for the table for Thanksgiving and some of the other decorations like the banner, I'll put up a, on my window. So I just love, 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 love fall. Everybody um, says, you know, they, of course not, we all come alive for the new year, right? But I come alive for fall. Every year. That's, and that's when I do all my crazy cleaning. I don't spring clean. I do a fall clean. I get ready for being in the house all winter. Sort of. Not really in the house a lot, but we're in the house more. That's why I do this cleaning during then. Hello. I know I can't wait either. I do not have any refills at this time. Okay. We're going to do the outside and then we'll do the inside here in just a minute so I'm going to lay down that three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and my one and seven eighths of an inch pieces will go on all these squares I'm 
but I'll do the two sides first because I want to show you. So we're going to hook these together. These together, this will come up. Even though we're not seeing this, I do mat it. It, it makes it a lot stronger. And then we're going to mat the bottom one after we put it together. I do, I do like summer, but I'm kind of with you, Tomalee. I love looking out the window at the sunshine. But right now, where everybody's in the, even Utah, we're hitting 98, 100. I don't like to go outside. <laughs> but I do like the sunshine coming through the window. And in the evening. I'm the box whisperer. Oh, no. <laughs> I do like making boxes. I like visualizing, Sally, what we can do with boxes. You know, it was hot in Utah. Um, my husband's truck, when he got in it yesterday, of course, it's not the true temperature. It's been sitting in the sun. He sent me a picture, 133 sitting out in the sun. And he, my car has an auto start. So he's like, I'm going to start driving your car so I can start the air conditioning before I go outside. I said, no, <laughs> I can't have my car. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what, David? I almost did come to the UK when we were military, but we didn't. Uh, our orders were canceled. I would have loved to see it. Okay, let's do these two bottom ones. Now, again, this paper, it can look, you, you don't have to use this as the Halloween theme. You can use the colors of the season um, and then not use any of the graphics if you think <clears throat> that that would fit maybe your, your, your neighbors or better. But I'll tell you, you, you just these colors are gorgeous, <laughs> that orange and black together. Before we put our box together, we need to do now this inside piece. Yeah, it, you know what? It drops down. It gets really nice and cool and in the evening for sure, Diane. But it goes right back up in the morning because Utah is considered a desert. Even though we're green with mountains, we've always been considered a desert. So see, I want to show you um, how we get away with matting these insides. You know how sometimes we have to leave one unmatted? <clears throat> um, we don't have tabs hooking here. So this is why we want to mat these. Yes, I did tell you wrong. So you do need 12 pieces. So I have a, a second strip that I'll cut down to 3 and 7 eighths. Uh, my goal is to get a bunch of these boxes made and sitting and ready. Okay, let's cut two more at seven eight. I want to have them ready to go. I don't want to be rushing at the last minute. So I'm going to just be pre-cutting a bunch of these. And I'm going to have my teenage granddaughters put them together. So I'll change that. You do need 12 not 10 of the three and seven eighths by seven eight seven inch pieces and the last one will go inside the box after it's put together i think 80s is the perfect temperature 78 80 but in the fall, it's a lot warmer than a spring 80, of course. Oh, Tris Tricia, I really like Ohio today. I mean, today. 
I was reading here. I liked Ohio when we were there and did a scrapbook retreat. I really, Ohio was really a pretty place. My husband's from back east, though. And he will not go where there's humidity. Okay, this is just going to give the inside of your box such a nice finished look. And it's just so simple to do. To really finish it up. Okay, before we put the box together, go ahead and burnish your score lines again because we flattened them out. And burnishing is the secret to a square box. So we'll just fold that over. And if you have some clothespins, they're going to be a great help for this. So what I'm going to do is glue my two tabs together first. And it doesn't matter which one goes on top or bottom. I'm going to be doing the inside on mine. If you do the outside, that's okay. Just cross it over the other direction. Because they're going to fit together just fine. So I'll do the inside one again on the left side here. Now it's my right side. Not to confuse you. But you want them to come together because you want it to be square. So let's let that sit just for a minute. Um, we will be matting this in just a moment. <laughs> Bet you can't tell what happened to that one. His name is Wilbur. Still going to use those. Now we're going to attach these two pieces together like so we just bring that right up but here's the clue go ahead and fold that over it's going to be a little tight but we're going to just hold this one till the glue catches Same thing. Now, when I'm folding this over, I'm checking that it's going to fit like it's supposed to. And this is just a really handy, if you haven't made this yet and you're making boxes for the holidays, you need to make this. It's just a one inch dowel and uh, my friend cut it to seven and a quarter inches and then hi Pat Pat made this for me and you just put the furniture you can see it's getting worn down but I've replaced it once they're super easy but they're the best things on earth if you're making boxes now once that's done before I put this together I'm going to add that last strip on the inside Can you hear Mr. Wilbur snoring? <laughs> so that's just going to fit inside there real easy. Covering those, oh, covering those tabs, giving it extra support. Plus, you won't have to, um, I mean, it'll just look finished. I know most people aren't going to look down in your box, but they might to see how you made it. We are curious people. And then it's going to fold up. Now, before I completely fold up, I want to make sure we've got a nice fit. See how easy that fits on there? Okay, let's glue this down. You could mat this if you like. I did not. Okay. 
again your clothespins once you have it where you want and then we're going to let that dry for a minute so while that's drying again i want to show you this is this is a die um it was in my stash i i mean it's, it doesn't even have the name to it anymore it's old so if you want to cut a doily or use a doily that'll that'll work great and then any pre-made tag or you can make your own tags so i'm going to use the back side to bring the orange and black out and we're going to go ahead and ink the edge this is just that extra decoration that's underneath and also cute 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 to hang on maybe the kids doors if you've got little ones home still hang on their bedroom door put some notes in there or a countdown and put a treat in every morning you could even use hooray the birthday collection from authentique and make a birthday one lots of always i like to do projects that have lots of um the, you know different things you can do with it and then I'm going to use from the six, you're going to want the six by six paper pad. Mine looks different from yours because this came from the printer, but yours is separated. Um, I'm going to use kind of a little more spooky. I'm going to take the scarecrow guy. So I used three different ones from the six by six cut aparts because I love the size of them. Yeah, let's go with spells. That kind of goes with our witches' hats, brooms, and black cats. Love the six by sixes. And I want one more. Let's see. Oh, boo. Got to have boo up there. I'm using the hor these horizontal ones. No, vertical. I don't know. I don't know my vertical from my horizontal. <laughs> so while that's still drying, <clears throat> I did kind of booger up my edges. Here comes Wilbur, Tricia. I guess he wasn't asleep. Um, they did tear, and that's kind of what I wanted. I'm okay with the tearing and the rugged look. Let's distress those. Oh, you have a birthday tomorrow. And let's see. Let's just grab something here. I'm just going to wind this around. Gonna bring those edges up and then where it's torn I want it to be torn and for this boo I'm actually going to cut some of this off because I'm using it see how I cut that there so I'm going to cut it to go underneath there mostly because I want the wording And I'm going to use some square foam dots for that. Oops. I'm noisy. Let's get that inked up there. And we'll get this one ready. And you may have a distress wool. I just like to use my scissors. Oh, he gets lots of kisses, Trisha. So I'll make sure you get some from you. He had a rough week last week. He has a very sensitive tummy. Okay. We'll decide which one's going to go where after we put it together. Yeah, it's messy when you do that. Again, I always know which clothespins have been on the floor. Okay, we're going to attach this now to our um, our tag. And this is why you wanted a good sturdy tag. And yes, we are gluing down our beautiful matting, but like I mentioned, it just adds strength. That's why I did it. 
So I'm just going to put this right down on my work surface to help me keep it straight for a minute. Put your clothespin in because that's why I love clothespins. You can angle them in there. It's going to hold that side for me because I want everything to be straight on my tag. And again, if you have a bone folder to go down there in the bottom. I am using my little handmade tool here because I need to get on the back. So when you're when you're burnishing down there, make sure you're doing the inside back side. Hi Pamela. Because you'll see right there you need to make sure it's attached. Oh, definitely. Yes. Prayers for our Sally. She took a tumble down the stairs because she won't slow down. They wanted that attached. Again, if you have maybe a spatula that you can get down in there, that works. Maybe a, I have every tool. Maybe a really long bone folder. Um, Debbie, you have grandchildren. Wilbur's doing much better. Like I said, we've got him completely cleaned out of the treats the delivery person gave him. He's very sensitive and he's uh, not throwing up. And you'll be able to rewatch it right here on Authentic and in the Authentic video files. You'll also be able to watch it on YouTube at Country Craft Creations. You'll be able to watch it in Scrapbookers at Country Craft Creations. And um, so we got lots of places for you to find it. So there's my box all put together. And I want to punch a hole now at the top. This is four inches. And I'm going to make a mark at two inches and about a half inch down. So two inches. And I'm just going by my markings here and a half inch down. You can put an eyelid in there. I just punched the hole. And it did a good job using my chomper here. And now we get to add our decorations and I'm just going to use some twine that I have. I've got a kind of a rust and then I have this orange and white baker's twine. So if you have any of those really cool, you know, funky fibers that we all get in our stash, maybe fuzzy or some yarn, some burlap type that's been pulled apart. That's what makes really cute um, decorating things for these type of projects for Halloween. This is longer than I need, but I'll be using it. Oops. Put those all three together. I missed one. There we go. going to tie these in just a second and I'll show you how and just cut that off as long as you like I'm going to take this bottom one because I wanted them to stand straight up I'm just going to tie this in a knot to hold those all on there or you can tie it in a bow Now for my door hanger. Lots of different ways you could do this. I just took, so it's about 24 inches. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you are doing better and you're going to see how I 
this is going to be my door hanger. And I have it folded in half. We're going to go right inside there with the already ribbon. Now you could make a little handle. Like I said, lots of options. And I'm going to have this about seven inches long. I'm just going to tie it. Off to the side here. Because I wanted lots of stuff sticking out. That'll be the handle or that what I hang it from the door at. Or you can, like I said, you can hang it over. You can get even some cute um, mugs. Hang it from there. Be creative. You could fill your, your mugs full of candy for the, if you wanted, for the giveaway. And the fun begins. We get to decorate. So I'm going to first put down that tag we made. And then determining, I'm going to determine here which side I want my doily. But again, I'm going to put some um, of these that I've already got cut. That's why I cut it too long. And there we go. Because I knew I'm just going to put these all together. Any charms you have that you want to hang, I just hung it from a bob pin, my little witch. I'm going to determine where that goes. Fun, fun. So definitely so you can get the kids together. This one I'm going to crinkle my edges up a little. I am just adding the adhesive to the center. And now for the embellishments. See, and I'm going to slide this right underneath there. So I didn't need it the whole, whole length or the whole width. I just wanted the boo sticking mostly out. That's what I did here. I cut this one also. I just wanted the boo. Bring that up on your foam dots. And don't forget, if you're just joining us, yes, you can definitely watch this after we're done here. Now let's go ahead and if you want to pull any corners up. And I do have a couple more of those bats. They are just from, they're just from, a, I have this package of bat stickers. So this is the only thing that um, I did not grab off of the collection because they were just sitting here. Um, and I thought it just looked perfect to go on here. And you can, then I put on the bottom. So I want to show you how I did that. I'm going to do the same thing. I've already cut this down because I cut it for here to make this cute little border. And you'll see I've already cut one off. They're already kind of um, shaped for us. And it's three and seven eighths wide. So you can do this for a lot of embellishing on your projects. We're just going to cut right along these lines. And we're going to keep that cute jagged shape for a border here on the bottom. And that's why this is not glued down because I want to sit this right underneath it.
and there's my cover and I'll probably find another charm that I can hang from here in my stash. I'm going to add my little scarecrow here at the top. And we've already mangled him up. And the bow that I've already cut. This does have the tails to it. But I hadn't... decided if I yeah I do want them again this was just from my Cricut cuddle bug so that tells you how old it is but there's a, I know you might have you must have a bow die in your stash or you might have um, a Cricut maker silhouette that you can cut some bows or you can go back on one of my old tutorials and see how I cut here and they are in the video file here on nothing T how I use my envelope punch board to make bows. Kind of got excited with the glue there, didn't I? We're going to hold that for just a minute. And while I'm holding that, I'm going to grab. So I've already got out some different treats. I even have some animal circus cookies. So if you're going to give this to someone, well, who doesn't love animals? circus cookies right and we've got peanuts so you don't even have to pre-stuff the bottom which I did in there with that white just put my peanuts back there I did get some cookies maybe you want to give it to some an older friend who doesn't like the circus peanuts but like I said who doesn't love circus peanuts so you can really shove a lot in there then a little note and a little card and you're set to, to boo your neighbors. You want the nuts? <laughs> I want the candy bars. And the masquerade paper collection is just adorable for this. I hope that you guys enjoyed making this with me. And if you do make them using authentic. Now, you may have some of the other authentic papers in your stash from prior years and be sure to show us over on everything authentic that's the sister group where you can post all the fun things that you make um, with new or past paper collections and where the design team see I can still stuff more in there and where the design team will post cute projects for you um, and then you've got just a really cute little treat for your neighbors for your workers um, for family members uh, just spread some happiness around. How fun is this? Or put a box of crayons in there. And, and uh, you know, maybe if you've got somebody that's not a candy lover. Yes. So, so cute. So, that is our project. And I can't wait to see you next week. Um, oh, you can definitely. Definitely post that project on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations if, if you did not use an authentic paper. Um, yeah, the authentic, everything authentic and authentic page are for uh, papers with authentic in our tutorial. So Scrapbookers, and we have a social group. You're welcome to post any of your projects with these tutorials in there. because We want to see what you've done with it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I love, love, love this little project, and I can't wait to, hey, don't forget the mail. You can pop these in the mail. Just stick them in one of the um, little flat rate box envelopes. Oh, and you might want to wrap it in some cellophane because <laughs> my candy bars, either they're jumping out because they want me to eat them or they just, they're ready to go to their new home. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.